Well, we study the Bible, and we study the Bible systematically, and we don't skip texts. I think that's what fam- one, one thing families can do and churches can do to have an increase of the fear of the Lord. Study the Bible. Uh, don't jump around too much. Uh, study it systematically so that you're, you're, you're getting the whole counsel of God. We, we love our favorite texts. Okay, we, we should veer away from our favorite texts for periods of time, Subcon- or consciously veering away from our favorite texts so that we are getting the whole counsel of God and so we are being taken to uh, the scriptures that are hard to deal with but that cause us to fear God because we see that uh, He has all the rights. And this is one of the very fearful things about God is He's great and we are nothing what's so offensive about the Bible to mankind in general is uh, it makes us nothing. We don't want to be nothing. We want to be something. But the Bible says that God is everything and that we're just clay that he has the right to use for honor or dishonor. Okay, this is a fearful thing because we're out, we're out of control and God is in control then. But the reality of that is really better than the alternative. Uh, God, who is good and merciful, being in control, is better than the alternative, which is we're wicked and we'll destroy ourselves. There's hope with God being in control, even though it's a fearful thing.